Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Before I say anything, I want to give a huge shout out to Rohit and Vandana for supporting Headbangers Kitchen and also to Kumar and Prachi for getting their Headbangers Kitchen gear and sending me pictures. And that's not all. Kumar and Prachi have even named their cats Jibber Jabber and Delicious. What can I say guys? I am speechless and truly humbled. Thank you for your incredible support. All of you are awesome. Anyway, on to today's recipe. I think chicken wings are the perfect keto snack and I've got a recipe today for a keto tandoori chicken wing and we're going to be serving it up with a delicious creamy and cheesy green chutney dip. Oh yeah, this is going to be quick, easy and delicious. So let's go and make those delicious tandoori chicken wings with that delicious creamy and cheesy green chutney dip. Let's go. Hey guys, so for this recipe, I'm going to be using a store-bought tandoori masala because this just makes life much easier. Though when I make my proper tandoori chicken recipe, I'll make it from scratch. But for now, I'm going to use this. And if you're wondering where to get this, I will leave a link to purchase it on Amazon on the website headbangerskitchen.com where you can find the written recipe as well. The link is in the video description box below. Anyway, let me go and make those wings right away. So the first thing we're going to do is make the marinade for the wings and we're going to take 100 grams of full fat yogurt, 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, salt to taste, and 10 grams of that tandoori powder you can use more or less depending on how you like it and give that all a good mix and our marinade is ready now i'm going to actually amp up the marinade by adding a tablespoon of melted ghee you can also use butter and three drops of red food coloring now guys 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 don't get all crazy on me about using food coloring this is a natural food coloring it is completely optional and honestly that is how the tandoori chicken gets the red color when you eat it in a restaurant anyway you can use it if you like or you can skip it completely and our marinade is ready now it's time to prep the chicken wings and i'm just going to separate the drumstick from the wing itself and i'm also going to remove the wing tips now the wing tips are quite useless to eat so I'm just going to save them and use them to make a chicken stock later on. Anyway, once you're done separating the wings, it's time for a little trick. You got to take your knife and stab the chicken wings. Oh yeah, give it a good stab like you're a serial killer. Or if you've been watching Mindhunter on Netflix, you'll know how to do this perfectly. The idea is that the marinade will penetrate and it will flavor the chicken all through because the best thing to do is leave the marination on for about 24 hours. Anyway, once you're done stabbing the chicken, we're going to put it in our marinade, give it all a good mix, make sure all the pieces are well coated and then you want to leave this to marinate overnight. Of course, if you're in a hurry, you can leave it for an hour, two hours, three hours, depending on how much time you got. But if you're one of the people who ain't got time for that, Keep it as long as it suits you. Now while the chicken is marinating, let's get on to that creamy, cheesy, green chutney dip. We're going to take a handful of coriander, a handful of mint, about half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, salt to taste, a teaspoon of cumin powder and a good squeeze of lemon juice. And then you want to just blend all of this in your blender. And of course, if it doesn't blend, just open it up, add a little bit of water and let it blend. You don't want to put too much water into this. Once this is done, I'm going to take some cream cheese in a bowl. And because mine is straight from the fridge, I'm just going to microwave it for about 30 seconds just to soften it up. And to that, I'm going to add some yogurt. Again, full fat yogurt and then give it all a good mix. And you want to mix it till it's nice and smooth. Then into this I'm going to add that coriander and mint paste that we made. And then just give it all another good mix. And that's it. Your creamy cheesy green chutney dip is ready. So just transfer it into a bowl and put it in the fridge to chill. Once your chicken is done marinating, preferably overnight, we're going to put it on a wire rack in our baking tray. 
if you don't have a wire rack or a baking tray no problem you can just put it on some aluminum foil and then these go into our oven at 200 degrees celsius for about 45 minutes till they're cooked all the way through after about 45 minutes those tandoori chicken wings are done and ready oh yeah those look incredible but wait we're not done just yet as soon as they're out of the oven i'm going to give them a light brushing with some butter or ghee this is just for some extra flavor once you're done buttering those chicken wings you're going to turn on your stove and you are going to give those wings a quick little trip into the fire oh yeah into the naked flame just to give it that slight char finish now if you've eaten tandoori chicken you know what i'm talking about that charcoal flavor this is one of the ways to get it quickly at home alternatively you can also turn up the oven to the highest temperature for the last 5 to 10 minutes of cooking the chicken wings and now to serve our chicken wings we're going to put our green chutney in a little serving bowl put those wings on a platter and oh yeah just look at those wings how good do they look and there you have it our delicious keto tandoori chicken wings are ready with that incredible green chutney dip oh yeah that looks delicious and just because these wings look so good here is a random cutaway of the wings mmm food porn at its finest anyway time to taste all right guys it's time to taste these delicious tandoori chicken wings and i'm salivating already they look so good and i love this black char on the tandoori chicken like for me that is one of the highlights of tandoori chicken anyway enough jibba jabba let me dig in we'll get some of that chutney also oh man oh man wow i'm tired of enjoying my own food it's i'm not kidding like this is really good mmm wings are cooked perfectly that mint dip is so light and refreshing and the wings have a decent amount of heat to it it's not spicy but it's just like and in fact if you want it spicy add some chili powder you know but for me this is perfect this is this is perfection on a plate and I'm, I'm not joking guys i wow like i had a feeling they would be good because i did a trial recipe but i don't know whether it's the marinating it overnight or the brand of tandoori masala that i bought this time the wings have gone to another level like they're flying like even though chickens can't fly chickens can't fly can they the chicken would fly if it had these wings anyway a uh, few little things i quickly want to touch up on one is this recipe has a decent amount of carbs because we're using yogurt uh, i realized that you can actually make the wings without the yogurt so just take a little extra ghee tandoori masala and the ginger garlic paste and marinate it but i don't think it will have the deliciousness that these have right now and uh, yeah you know what forget about it i'll write it in the blog post on headbangers kitchen whatever my thoughts are after i go through the entire recipe but for now i'm signing out guys cheers and keep cooking see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen on a scale of one to butter chicken just how much do you love chicken wings well we've got a recipe for butter chicken wings here and we've got the regular garlic parmesan chicken wings here you can also subscribe to headbangers kitchen for more awesome keto recipes give this video the thumbs up if you liked it and you can buy some headbangers kitchen merchandise links in the video description box below cheers and keep cooking guys